So I got this um, this timer here from uh, Amazon. There's a lot of them uh, around on Amazon and uh, on the different brands, but basically I think the system is basically the same because they all look exactly the same and all of them have exactly the same features. Now, one thing I didn't like about uh, these uh, timers is that the LED, green LED light is flashing constantly here uh, on both timers. As soon as you start the timer, it will, uh, it will start uh, uh, flashing constantly. So that might be okay if you're working in a noisy environment and you want to just remind yourself that uh, the timer is on and is running. Uh, but however, if you want to use it for study or something like that, um, it's going to be distracting. You know, if you're going to have it in a corner and the timer is going to work and the, this LED flash is going to constantly um, just flash, uh, it's going to be distracting. So. Um, I got this uh, actually in the description of this one that I purchased was saying that only the last 10 seconds the LED light flashes that's why I purchased it because I looked at different uh, um, other sellers and uh, this seller was saying that only the last 10 seconds uh, flashes but actually no it's the whole time it flashes from like 4 to 4 to 5 seconds something like that so uh, what I did I opened it up it's got some screws here on the other side. You just remove these screws. Uh, as you can see, it's got some small little tiny screws. You can see that's the, these are the screws. You can either put them on the side or you can put them on the magnet here because it's got a magnet back so that you can keep them safe there. Uh, and so I open it up and I removed the, the motherboard, let's say, as well. And here it's got the, these LED screens. Now, if you go, if you remove the motherboard as well, on the other side they are labeled which one is green and which one is uh, is uh, is uh, red, with R and uh, with uh, green. So what I did is it's got uh, this small little capacitor here. Uh, one is this one is for red, this one is for green. So the top one is for green. Uh, bottom one is for red. As you can see, I already removed from the top uh, from the top timer. Uh, I removed the the green uh, capacitor, and now the uh, on the top timer the green capacitor doesn't flash anymore. So let me just give an example. Uh, let's say put on the first one one hour, and the second one one hour, and we go get start this one and start this one. So both of them started, and only the bottom one flashes green. Okay, so you can see now that only the bottom one flashes green, and um, yeah, so basically green, you're not gonna get the free green flash anymore at all. So you remove the green flash completely, with, but still you're gonna get the red flash. So let's try. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna stop this, move to the this one, uh, clear it, stop first, clear it, and put two set three. Let's say seconds so the green uh, the 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 green uh, LED used to flash when uh, just uh, flash faster below 10 seconds so now it's going to 13 11 10 not flashing not flashing not flashing so let's see if it flashes on red because I didn't try it but it should be okay yeah yeah it starts flashing on red so yeah, you just remove that capacitor and then uh, then uh, you're good to go. Uh, you're just gonna retain all the functionality and you'll be able to use it without the green annoying flash. Um, one thing to notice is that because I moved it quite a bit until I figure out what how it works is that uh, the these wires are very, very, very uh, sensitive and I broke both of them, one on one direction one on the other direction now i'm not going to be use the noise however i'm not going to use the loud uh, uh, alarm however i'm going to repair it and i got here some tape which so i'm gonna i just i'm just gonna remove if it happens to you just remove the insulation here um uh make a, like a like a, make a scratch on this on this thing here make a scratch uh, cut a bit of tape, put the 
push the 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 wire in the tape and uh, just like uh, push the wire in the in that uh, uh, scratch there and then just like tap it over so it should be working afterwards so I wish you all the best um, get get the cheapest on the market on the under the same uh, under, the, uh, under the same configuration because all of them are the same it's rather cheaply built but it does the job so other than that what can i say that's that's all uh, just also remind remember when you close it down to put the, back the switch here on the side because otherwise you'll not be able to reach as it's inside so it's like it this it's got this little piece of plastic and it goes inside there it's just yeah it's like it just slides in there okay so yeah take care and enjoy your assignment